Tip number one, exfoliate. This, if you do nothing else, will make the biggest difference to your tan. Get rid of those old dead skin cells that sit at the top of the skin. We all do it, we all shed our skin on a daily basis. You need to get rid of those dead skin cells and then you will have a most perfect skin and perfect skin makes for perfect tanning. I suggest that you use our super fine skin polish. It's going to very, very gently remove the dead skin cells while also moisturizing the skin and giving you the best possible base for tanning. Number two, use our skin plumping peptide mist. It will balance the pH of your skin and plump up the skin and make it absolutely perfect and ready for tanning. It's going to give you the nourishment that you need, but it's not a moisturizer, it's not an oil-based product, so it's not going to block the tan. It's absolutely perfect. Number three, for flawless application, use a tan mitt. It's what it's designed for. It's going to make it so easy to apply the tan. The tan is going to be flawless on application and you're going to have everything done two, three minutes, a whole body. It's so, so easy. And don't be scared when you put a little bit of product on the mitt and you see it going on and it looks dark. It's not going to be dark. All our colors are very sheer on application. It just looks dark at the first pump. Number four, top tip for hands and feet. When you've applied your body tan and you think that there's nothing left on the mitt, there is. And that's the point at which you put tan on the back of your hands. Always work away from the fingers and put the tan on the back of your hands working up towards your wrist. Also for your hands, a thing that I really want you to do is to avoid the heel of the hand and the wrist. So what do I mean by that? Take your mitt and always avoid the heel of the hand. Go below the heel of the hand. And in fact, go below the three lines in your wrist. Have a look now and you'll see that you have three lines in your wrist. We all do. I want you to avoid those three lines and then blend back up with your dry cloth. And just on the point of the hands and feet, a couple of extra things. Always remember that with a natural tan, you don't get tanned between your fingers. So don't tan between your fingers. I see so many girls with like, nasty color in there. You don't have any color in there in a real tan, so don't do that. The same with the feet. Think of yourself being on a beach. I always talk about having beach feet. If you stood on a beach in the Maldives or in Crete, for instance, for a couple of weeks, you have no color around the edges of your feet because you're standing in the beach and the only place that the sun hits is the top of your feet. Number five, this is a really key tip and not many people do this or even know about it. When you've finished your tan, you're going to go back and look after it in a really special way. You're gonna take a damp cloth, just a very slightly damp cloth, to take off any tan that is on your knuckles, your elbows, your knees, and your ankles. Also do a quick wipe between your fingers, I always do, and on the palm of your hand, just to make sure, particularly the heel of the, your hand, that there's no tan there. Now you're going to take a dry cloth and you're going to blend. So think of it a bit like when you apply your eye makeup and you need to go back over with a blender brush and just really, really carefully make everything blend together so that there's no lines. So take that dry cloth and blend all the edges, which essentially are your hands and your feet. So you blend around the edges of your hands and the edges of your feet, just to make sure that you don't have any sharp lines, that they're just really soft lines, like a completely natural tan. Number six, when it comes to the face, I want you to think about this. You want to take away excess tan that would look unattractive. So the areas that I'm talking about here, and this is with your very slightly damp cloth, think about the lips, around the edges of the lips, the edges of the nose, and across the eyebrows. And particularly for very fair girls, just make sure and give your eyebrows a little wipe with a slightly damp cloth because you don't want them turn, tanning too dark. You don't want them looking unnatural. You just want your lovely, own eyebrow color. Number seven, and here's one that's really important. Use enough tan. Now I know I'm gonna say don't use too much tan, then use enough tan, but what I mean by that is make sure that you tan all of the area of the skin. And that is particularly relevant for the face and neck because when people use a face tan, very often they use it as they would a moisturizer, just a tiny little bit. No, you need to cover your whole face and neck in the same way as you would cover your body. So use enough tan. Number eight, this is a top tip for those very pale girls with pale, hard to tan skin. What do I mean by that? I mean that you have very little melanin in your skin. 
It's the thing that reacts to the sun and it also reacts to the tanning active DHA. So if you've got very little of that, then you need to use more DHA in order to get a tan. So for you very, very pale girls, if you want to have a tan as opposed to just a very light hint of a sun kiss, use a three star tan. Number nine, maintain your skin. Keep it in tip top condition. I recommend that you use our Moisture Boost because we have filled it full of lots of moisture lock and beautiful tanning actives and that's going to ensure that your skin is in tip top condition while your tan fades away beautifully. And number 10, and this is a really important one, at least once a month, allow your tan to disappear completely. I know it's really hard if you're very pale, I know that it's hard, but let it go right completely because you want your skin to replenish completely so that you can have a great canvas to start again. And in the meantime, use something like our lovely Wash Off 24 Carat. It has no DHA, it's not going to tan you, but it's going to give you lovely sheer bronzed color while your tan fades below.